Here are five AI hacks for YouTube Shorts that will get your results fast. So let's go. The first AI hack to use is Opus Clips. This website shows you if you put one long video in, it cuts out the best parts of a video. It tracks the face of the person, puts keywords on there with emojis, which is key here, and will maximize your videos by 5%. And you can read the stats here as well. So if I type podcast up on YouTube, and if I select the podcast, Andrew Tate versus Pierce Morgan. So if we put the link in here and press get clips, from copying one link, they're going to give me a bunch of viral clips to put on YouTube. So I'll wait a few minutes. Let's see what it shows. So if I press edit and watch it. He's the most famous man you probably never heard of with billions of views online. A former professional kickboxer. He was kicked off Big Brother in 2000. Okay, as you can see, it's out of the text. It's cut to certain different images and it's created a bunch of them telling me what titles to use. Shock and truth about dangerous social media content revealed. The insane truth behind Alex Jones and Sandy Hooks. You can post loads of these a day and if you go on podcasts, look how many options you have. Your channel could just be about podcasts and you'd be viral. So the AI tool number one, Opus Clip, Highly recommend. They're all linked in the description, by the way. On to the next one. The second strategy can get you tens to millions of views. It's called short story content. There's three AI tools we're going to use for free for this. So first one is ChatGPT. So motivational story for pushing yourself and becoming the best. Now you could pick a niche for these stories. You can do horror, motivational, fitness, creative stories. You can see it's giving me a full text. Let's just copy half of it real quick. The second thing you want to do is go to 11 labs. You can get started for free by pressing this. And what it does, as you can see, if we put in the text we just have from ChatGPT, you have an AI doing the voices for you. What kind of voice do you want it to have? This is insane, man. If we just press generate. Once upon a time, there was a young man named John who wanted to become the best runner in his town. As you can see, it's in a clear voice for your YouTube shorts. Now, once you've made the story, have the audio, all you want to do is go over to a free editing software. I'm going to use Pictory, and it uses AI software in it. Once we go on Pictory, if you just import the audio and press proceed, now, as you can see, it's generated the text for me at the bottom here. If we press customize video in the top right, we can move the text to wherever we want. Obviously, you want to put it in the YouTube format like that, the squished. If you go to visuals and you search a certain category, so if I just put this man sat on the balcony here, this looks good. Once upon a time, there was a young man named John who wanted to become the best runner in his town. Now, that's a preview example, really bad, but if you select the right background to go with it, plus put the text in the exact spot you want it, boom, you've now got a passive income channel pretty much. You create a bunch of short stories, post them daily. You're done. Another AI hack for you guys, and I hope you enjoy that one. But the next one is insane. If you're watching this, I assume you're English because you can understand my voice. But for the next YouTube short, if you want to reach all those new audiences in different countries like Mr. Beast with all this different dubbing, we have Paper Cut. This is AI dubbing. No paying someone to do voiceovers. You are doing it for free. And what you want to do for this website is you actually have to book a demo with them, which soon enough, there will be a free trial. For now, you have to book a demo with them. And if you're making content, content like gaming and you want voiceovers, if you're creating Mr. Beast type content, if you're creating podcast content, anything, I'd recommend booking a demo. All you have to do is put your emails and stuff and they give you access like that. You're not going to be in a meeting with them. They're going to give you access to it for free if they see your content. I cannot show you an example of it, but if you want to use this, it will make your content 50% more reachable, meaning you want to go viral easily. So if you have your content and you're looking for a way to get more views, Papercart is the way to go. Now, the fourth way to go viral with YouTube Shorts using AI, this goes for mobile users, by the way is CapCut is AI software. CapCut is like Opus, where it can give you the subtitles done and a bunch of other things. But with this, we're going to be finding famous people. For example, we have Jinxie here. Jinxie is popping off, one of the best creators as of right now. And as you can see, he's creating a lot of videos. Now, if you select a short, for example, if I drag the clip onto the bottom part right here, as you can see, it's now on my CapCut screen. All you're going to want to do is select auto captions to recognize the voice too. And then after you do the auto captions and the music, if you go to upload video, Video and name the YouTube short Jinxie is number one on Twitch and you name the channel to Jinxie Clips. You post a bunch of these every day. I guarantee you'll be going viral, getting a lot of subscribers, a lot of views and potentially even recognized by that famous person. So use CapCut to its advantage. It is on mobile and PC. I'd recommend famous people because you can make highlight reels. You can do funny moments. You can do the best moments, viral clips, everything. So that is the fourth one. Use CapCut and also find famous people to make content about. Now the final strategy
strategy to blow up on YouTube Shorts as of this moment is by using this one thing. Quiz channels. If we go on YouTube and type quiz channels, as you can see, they get so many views, but the, none of them are in short form content. Yes, you could copy these, but we're not going to do that. And you can see on this quiz short I made, I got over 500,000 views. You must be thinking I'm crazy, but this was one of the first videos I created on my Shorts channel. And on day one, as you can see, it got zero views. The next day, I checked it at the same time and I was 143,000 views. I, I was shocked. Then it kept going up and up. And then obviously it's flatlined on 518,000. That's a viral short, my dude. And if you posted like five of them a day, you'd be going viral. Now, let me show you what you have to do, which you don't even have to put a face cam on for. You're going to want to go back to chat GPT and you're going to want to ask it, give me 10 riddles that are fun and easy, but not many people know about. You can do this as complex as you want. If you're a chat GPT expert, I'd recommend watching videos on them. You'll find out a lot. Now, yes, give me answers. What goes up and down, but never moves. A staircase. You don't have to do just riddles, but this is what I'm choosing for this example. Now, once you got these 10 riddles, what do you want to do? The same strategy as earlier on. So you want to copy all these riddles and you want to put it into the AI text to speech. Now, you don't have to do text to speech. That's your choice. You can add a music background instead or text to speech or no music. Your choice. Then you want to go over to Pictory or CapCut. We just used CapCut a minute ago. It was great. Then you're going to want to edit videos using text. And then after that, do what you did earlier on by selecting images and selecting what text you want. As my example showed, quiz channels get so many views and not many people take advantage of them. Now, if you made it this far, comment down below if you've got any more questions and hit subscribe. Thank you.